So the research uh, question that was proposed for this study is to uh, find strategies and instructional models and technological tools, for example, uh, educational games, that can be used to motivate girls to stay in uh, STEM or computer science education and careers. Okay, so unclean water and the lack of basic um, sanitation kill more people every year um, than AIDS, uh, tuberculosis, malaria combined. So it's actually a major killer. Um, it doesn't sound as, um, as sort of a big of a disastrous issue, let's say a major disaster that's happening somewhere, etc. but it's actually a very constant killer um, everywhere. So at BCIT, we've actually had a controlled substance license on and off for, for a number of years, dating back uh, almost 15 years. And you can buy from a licensed producer, of which there's now 105 in Canada, um, or you can grow your own or designate someone to grow for you, but it's for personal use. So the, uh, the next objective, what we want is we want to synthesize compounds and then do the same. So analyze and then test them. And this is my job here. So, so uh, I, I, I am here. So I, I'm here to synthesize this compound and again analyze them and test them. Um, so what we're looking at here is, um, well, welcome to Antarctica. Uh, so this is a, a 3D model that's created uh, by combining a series of overlapping two-dimensional images captured by a drone and then you mosaic them together and the software does this magical thing called structure from motion um, and where it, it actually correlates overlapping pixels and extracts three-dimensional information from that. Um, what kind of keeps us up at night? What's uh, controversial in ethics? What tends to come up at our, our board meetings? All of our board members say the best thing about being part of the Research Ethics Board is not really the work. I mean, the work is reading the applications and trying to decide if it was ethical or not. Um, the real fun part is sitting around the table and talking about these, these thorny issues that come up. So I won't spend a lot of time on this chart, but you know, this notion of looking at project values and community values and finding out where there's overlap and doing so through a deliberate process, starting with the baseline of education, connecting with the appropriate subject matter experts, having these conversations, finding out about communities and what the needs and expectations of the communities are. And only at the tail end of this big wheel do you actually get to project uh, implementation. So. BLE is Bluetooth Low Energy, and maybe you haven't heard the name BLE, but I'm sure that you have used Bluetooth, at least on your phone, to transfer images or uh, information. Areas that we focus on are electric vehicle charging infrastructure, uh, microgrids, and cybersecurity for critical infrastructure. The first one, it's a uh, baby calmer. This was a project that was done with BC Women's and Children's, and it essentially is an incubator that mimics the mother's heart rate and respiration rate to provide a really nice uh, nurturing environment for these little preemie babies. Just before I came to BCIT, I developed this wheelchair that I'm sitting in here. It's called the Elevation Wheelchair. Um, it's been commercialized. I'm going to put the mic down just for a sec and show you two things it does. It lets you change the seat position and the backrest position on the fly while you're sitting in it. So I can change the seat. I can change the seat really easily. Get down nice and low for wheeling. Or move it up higher or anywhere in between for other activities, so whether I'm talking to you or reaching a shelf. And similarly, I can move the backrest as well. So. And welcome to Earth. So I always think, imagine that I'm saying that to Spock or Mork or someone like that, right? But in fact, it's not that, and uh, so it's a little bit crazy. In fact, even spell check doesn't like the way we say welcome to Earth, uh, because of course it isn't the planet Earth. It's the Emissions Reduction and Research Test Hub, which is a new capability that we have at Anasis Island. Uh, insulation material, for example. Like in our houses, we have a traditional insulation material, fiberglass. In one inch, you get R4. But now with the new material, with the vacuum space panel, you get R40. So that's like 10 times. That means your wall can shrink to one tenth of uh, th thickness. Or there will be additional different kind of materials coming to the market. So we'll be doing the research on those kind of materials and how they could be integrated into buildings. 